What's going on you guys? Play here back with another Epic 7 video and in this video we're going to be looking at the patch notes for 1128's update to Epic 7. So we got a lot of crazy things coming up so let's check them out. So starting off we're finally getting that equipment conversion update uh, along with the equipment conversion I believe we're also going to be able to craft exclusive equipment uh, specifically from the alchemist steeple so it looks like they also added an option or an additional item that you need to actually choose the main stat that you want so for example uh, they are requiring these equipment conversion chests in order to select the actual main stat that you want so there are ways that you can obtain these it looks like you can purchase them or you can actually get them as rewards from the world boss however those seem to be random and if you do purchase them it looks like you can actually select the type that you want it looks like you can purchase up to two a month of those exclusive equipment so you'll select the type of equipment that you want you'll add your gem and then you'll add your actual equipment that you have that you, you don't have a use for and then it also looks like you get a quality so maybe that also enhances uh, the equipment level I'm not too sure yet I guess we can test it out in game so if you are using equipment from different sets it looks like you can actually select the set that you want to use and there's gonna be like a little box there you can select from so after you've converted it says once the equipment conversion has been completed Players will receive the equipment with the main stat that the equipment conversion gem used that you provided. The substat for this equipment will be given at random. So it looks like at least for right side pieces you're going to be able to actually select the main stat that you want, however substats are going to be random. So you do have a limit again, you have a limit of two pieces per month that you can actually convert. So I'm thinking of only using right side pieces, so necks, rings, and possibly even boots. So hopefully that'll be pretty awesome. That's gonna give us some really, really epic pieces. I look forward to that. Next is the world boss. So this is something that we have been teased about uh, in earlier patch notes, and we finally have them. So let's take a look at the world boss. So it says, after reaching rank 50 or higher, players will be able to access the world boss. So it looks like the first boss is going to be Planet Devourer Carcatum. So when you want to actually fight the world boss, it looks like there are some uh, eligibility requirements. So you have to be in a guild with an account rank of 50 or higher. So you have to be at least uh, level 50 or higher. Uh, it costs 20 energy. And there are entrance limits up to two battles per day. And if those rewards for those conversion gems are going to be dropping uh, at a high rate here at the World Boss, I would definitely recommend that you take them on. So uh, there are uh, teams that you can build here. So in, in order to set up your team, it says a minimum of eight heroes and a maximum of 12 heroes may participate in battle. Bonuses will be divided into the following categories. All classes, enhanced element, and team mission. Players will be able to see their bonus on the World Boss Hero selection screen. Players will be able to tap the auto assign but button, which will automatically create a suitable team of 12 heroes. So if you're not sure who to bring, you can just hit that auto assign and it'll dump maybe possibly your best heroes onto the field, or maybe the heroes with the strongest element. And then you can just hit start and, and take on the world boss. So it says world boss battles will be conducted automatically. On the world boss battle screen, players will be able to see both the total score as well as the score of each individual hero. After a player has completed their first battle, they will be able to skip the next battle by tapping the skip button. So we might not actually do anything. We might just select our characters and that's it. The rewards and battle results will be displayed on the screen. The four heroes with the highest score will be displayed. Received points, rewards, and final grade will be displayed. So you can actually check to see how your heroes did. And of course, 
we get them sweet rewards from these is where we want to get those gems so it looks like the higher grade that you get the more rewards that you get of course so we have some more information on the rewards here and of course i'm assuming the more damage we do the better rank we get for the rewards and we, here we have a breakdown on the actual rewards themselves so triple s all the way down to your d rank so let's look at this triple s rank maybe they give us a chart nope all right so I think it's the same so maybe everyone gets the same except for these a rank which gives you only 5500 gold so your so your goal is to actually aim for this s rank i would say okay so it looks like you'll still get five of these items that they list here however if you do get the triple s then you can get seven of these items so you have a better chance of probably getting that molagora or uh, getting any of those other items that are there. So even if you don't go super hard on the world boss, you still have a chance at getting uh, those epic items like the Molagora. You can still get those adoption tickets. However, you do get a lesser level. So level 55 to 70 hunt equipment. And then if you get that D rank, you get that 41 to 4, uh, 55 hunt equipment. So moving on to number three, Hooch's pop-up shop is back, but it looks like they're having a Black Friday sale. So the four to five hero summon ticket is gonna be 20% off, 50% off for that Molagora, so I'm definitely gonna get that. It says every 12 hours, regardless of whether they have been purchased or not, the time reset items will be reset and the new time reset items will randomly be placed into the shop. So it also looks like the reset items are gonna be probably random and you can also purchase these from his shop and so every 12 hours you'll be able to purchase something different uh, and then within those little slots that have that little clock number four arena honor season begins hopefully we do get some additional equipment because I can't wait to see that uh, but we do have exclusive frames so we'll be able to purchase the new honor season equipment so it's an effectiveness set uh, it might be pretty good if you're using uh, some type of mage that requires a lot of effectiveness each one of these has effectiveness or f res so you know they're probably going to all roll into that but hopefully not uh, so we'll see just let me know what you think of the equipment here and of course faithless lyrica is going to be dropping so make sure you go in and you check her out in game if you haven't already done so or go check out my previous video where I did a kind of like a little preview on Faithless Lyrica and it also looks like we're going to be getting Rabi's banner so she's going to have her drop rate up uh, as soon as the patch hits and it looks like they also added an element summon so this element summon it looks like you're going to be able to summon specific element heroes i'm not too sure what this is going to look like in game however it looks like you will be needing those those fire connections from the drop in the world boss to actually to actually summon those heroes so we are getting some additional improvements and bug fixes here uh, feel free to go in and read those and nothing too crazy just some uh, text improvements there and additional bug fixes also, don't forget that we're going to be having a free unequip event and we're going to be having buffs up for this entire weekend. So from 11.28 all the way up until December 2nd, we're going to be having that free unequip. So we will having the free unequip event and the Epic Friday November buffs. So we're going to be having increased drop rate on runes and hunt material. So make sure that you get on that. Uh, so let me know, what did you think of these patch notes? Are you excited for the world boss? Is that something that your guild is going to participate? Are you going to end up summoning for Faithless Lydica? Are you going to purchase those Mystic Medals from the Black Friday shop? If so, let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Have a great day.